Oh hi, I'm Mark from Vadim. Today I thought I'd show you how to use font icons with Vadim 7. Come on! So I'm gonna start by creating a new Vadim 7 project. And I'm going to name it Font Icon Demo. I'm on 7.2 here as you can see. I'm going to go with all the other defaults and it's going to resolve for a while because I haven't actually used 7.2 before but I can still start editing things and the project will compile once it has all the needed libraries. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and delete the click listener for the button that's created for me automatically. And we'll name it bookmark and add a font icon to that. So we're going to go ahead and add, set an icon for it. Uh, and we're going to use font awesome dot bookmark for our bookmarking button like so so let's go ahead and see what that looks like when we run it run it so run on server we're gonna go ahead and add a new server since this is a fresh workspace, so I'm going to go and find my Tomcat and press finish. This is a one time operation because I didn't have Tomcat configured in Eclipse. So it's starting the Tomcat server and once it's done, it's going to open the Eclipse built-in browser and show me my UI with the button that now has a bookmark font icon. Let's take a look at how that looks in Chrome real quick. So the same address and here we go. Okay, so back to Eclipse. And we are going to try to style the icon. So to do that, we first need to add a style name to the button. Unless we want to style all our buttons, obviously. So I'm going to name it my style. And then we need to add some CSS. So we're going to go to web content, button, themes, and the theme that was created for us. And we're going to edit that in the text editor, actually. So it has created a mixin for us already and conveniently says insert your theme rules here so that's what we are going to do uh, dot my style and let's make it red let's see how that looks so reload chrome and it's red okay let's do some more styling uh, let's make it a little bit bigger and see how that works out. Also, we're going to move it a little bit because otherwise it will drop down. Let's see how that works out for us. No, that's not the result we are looking for. I think I know the reason. Uh, we are now styling the whole button and not the icon element itself. So we're going to 
add target the font icon itself here. So let's see how that works out for us. Yes, that's the result we were looking for. You can also use the V dash icon. Uh, that would affect all icons regardless if it's a font icon or not. But if we want to just style the font icons, uh, then we can use the font awesome class name. So Vardin comes pre-configured with a um, font icon set called Font Awesome, and it's quite awesome. But what if we want to use some other icon? Let's pop over to a service called Icon Moon, where you can easily get your own icon set. When you first go to Icon Moon, you'll notice that it has a lot of pre-configured icons. Uh, which are quite nice, but what you want to do for your project is probably go and make a new project so that you get exactly the icons you want. So let's do that. And then you can add icon sets to your project or icons. So we're going to try to find something suitable. There's a lot of different, and please notice that they have different licenses. We're going to choose this Feather one. It has a nice MIT license, and I think it has something that suits our needs. So we're going to go ahead and add that. And I immediately find an icon that looks like our bookmark. So we'll add that to our font and you can see it appear here. It's called Ribbon and we're going to go ahead and download this one icon, icon set. So we get a nice zip file that will expand and we are going, it contains the font files. We're going to go ahead and copy the whole directory to uh, our theme in Eclipse. So we'll add the whole folder to the font icon demo theme. So you can see the font files appear here. And then we are going to go ahead and actually import the font and this has to happen outside of the font icon demo. Uh, we do uh, an include, a SAS include for the font. Uh, we already have a mix in that helper mix in so we don't have to type a whole lot of information. And then we are going to go ahead and create a new button so that we can see how that looks. So we are going to give it a title, icon moon bookmark, like so, and we are going to add it to our layout, add component, and then we're going to set the icon, but wait a minute. Where are we going to get the actual icon? We want this to work exactly as the built-in font awesome. So we're going to go ahead and create an enum. That's especially handy if you have more icons in your icon set. So a new enum, we're going to name it icon moon. Click finish and actually we'll want it to implement font icon. It's an interface and we're going to go ahead and add the required methods. Uh, so it adds a few methods. The get mime type is actually not needed for font icons. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, ignore that. 
uh, the font family is a good idea to add. It's used for font icons where it has to match the name that we used in SAS. So let's go ahead. Yep, that looks okay. The code point is that number that we saw in the Icon Moon application. Uh, so each icon is going to have a separate code point. The get HTML method is used when we want to embed the icon within HTML. So for instance, in a in the middle of a label that's in the HTML mode, for instance. You can go ahead and steal that code from the font awesome implementation, enum, for instance. So let's go ahead and add a constructor that takes the code point and stores that and like so and then we are going to pop over to icon to figure out what that uh, number was the code point for our ribbon so we're gonna going to call it ribbon and add its code point as a hex value like so. Now this is go looking pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and try that out. So the familiar set icon. Now we have an enum and we can use our ribbon. And so let's pop over to the bro browser and see how that looks. And look, we have our icon. So you remember the get HTML that we implemented. Uh, we're now going to try out how that actually works in a label. So let's go ahead and compare the font awesome bookmark icon to the icon moon ribbon icon. And we're going actually to make a really typical mistake here. We'll find out in just a minute. Now, in order to actually render the HTML as intended, we need to put the label into its HTML content mode. And then we're going to add it to the layout. So let's go ahead and see how that looks in our browser. Reload. And yes, not as expected. Uh, as you can see, it now just outputs the name of the enum. So you actually have to call the, remember to call the get HTML when you want to uh, display the icon within HTML. Reload, and yes, there are our icons. So that concludes our font icon tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to give me feedback on Twitter or uh, YouTube or whatever. Thank you.